Yeah, I bet you would. I bet you would you would go in by yourself. Go to Flint's room. Sick him, Ted. The case was spinning out of control so fast I had to hold onto my hat. Nothing made sense, and he was getting more You don't have your hat. Minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Hundreds of hard-working, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, he's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected. My retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? Is it's that us? all the leading picture? to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? Is it's Ted the main character? It's also or is Amber the main stupid, character? But I've let myself trust her over the years. We've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole of the city. This bond I have with her will be the only thread I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. I like what they did with that side picture, with like the newspaper on it. Hi! Level 6 sword! I'll just sell this sword and buy some revives for later. <laughs> I should tear them in case I need okay, to make so we a are both to people. climb down the window. Because now, I, is this his stuff? Oh no, this is this is all still Amber's stuff. Okay. A guitar. Reserved for douching out at college. Storage space reserved for various miscellania. Is miscellania a word? Rope. Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. <laughs> oh, boy. I have no idea where the drawing guy went with this one. Can you see it? Something? It... We don't know what that is. Random papers. Empty sheets of paper spread across the table surface. What future awaits those sheets of paper? Will they ever become a book? Ooh, candy. A bag of candy. I knew a girl named candy once. Whatever happened to her? Something. It looks like a little tiny dish with like a stick out of it. Origami box. I have no clue what that is. A wild guess. It's a single copper dime with a printing error. Unique. Extremely rare. Not as valuable as one might think. Car? A toy car, maybe. I don't know. I'm not in the car evaluation business. Okay, what's up? The, oh, these are the Mugshot Brothers. What's up, man? The dictionary defines a cabinet as a body of high-ranking state officials, typically consisting of the top leaders of the executive branch, usually called ministers. There you go. That's what this is. Only small. That was well played. I had a feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop! We didn't do it! And what exactly didn't you do? Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it? It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. 
this is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, oh. if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive, see? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Where is Flint? Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? Okay, so we're lying to them. The rabbits are the mugshot brothers. They're the ones that uh, did the underground thing that got Millie here. So mugshot people. Um, I got this official letter. No, I just got an official letter from the studio executives. They've pushed back the deadline. I just wanted to inform him he's not getting drawn or animated for this episode. Oh, it's a tragedy when that happens. Those corporate suits. <laughs> They're always standing in the way of true creativity. Shut up, John. Oh. John, he's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. Why are you even here? So, why are you here exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful, or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know see? our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's King. time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying the he knows CBG? something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Do you know what the Red Man? You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? I could go easy on you. If you tell me what you know, maybe I'll go easy on you with the beating. Why do you have to get all physical? So far, Let's you don't have anything physical. on us that would justify this type of behavior, see? Violence is never an answer, Snoop. It is, with you two. Why'd you escape the city? Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? In our we house? Might take up fishing, or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure. I like and his your voice. escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? <laughs> <Forget it. laughs> Uh, I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about him? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn. See? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. Okay, what? shorter lines. What the for hell him. are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to the him. Shorter lines Not are more his character. Hmm. Well, 
You two were useful as always. I got worse I have as to he go. read it. When I come back, I hope for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one, yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. That it's was like easy. we're partners now, see? Sure. Okay, so we got a key. We'll have to find another way. Okay, so there's a there's a mechanic in the game that'll let us reach things farther away. Most de oh, rope. The weakest link in this whole construction. Maybe I could exploit that. Like with a level six sword? No. Oh. Swiss Army knife. There we go. <laughs> that was that was very abrupt. Hey, here we go. I'll take it with me. Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. Can we turn the lamp off? No. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's everything. Leave! I'm so glad he were handed the Swiss Army knife when he went through. Those two clowns are in there. Not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room. The parents' room key? Mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You too. <laughs> that was a diss. Can I use a level six sword on the key? I can't use that. But it's it's perfect. I don't think so. But that'd be great. Use it on the sword. Do what with it? Can, can you wear it on yourself? Can you put it on Ted? Come on. Okay, no. Fine, jeez. Yeah, what is the other key for? Well, it's to unlock something. It's locked. I mean, of course it is. I'm sorry, I forgot this was point and click. I actually have to do this. Boop. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Again, I'm hearing like the little growl. Shoes. Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? I don't have a bed frame, so I can't do that. Armoire. It's my parents' closet. Armoire. Also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. Camera. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I oh. can develop it later. Film strip. I can't just. Small leather chair thingy. It's called it's an ottoman. It's for sitting down. I think. Like, way down. <laughs> Is there getting a weird echo to her voice? For anybody else? It's plastic wrap for your clothes. For some reason. Even one of my ears is getting clogged. Mom and Dad's bed. Or the inside trampoline, as I like to call it. Yeah, inside trampoline. I feel like these should grow in a pond. A little I could echoey? Be wrong. It might have been something. Some weird plant is sticking out of it. See, that line was fine. I'm not allowed to use lipstick till I'm a bit older, according to my mom. It's highly inedible, though. I was shocked to hear, like, eight to ten-year-olds using a bunch of makeup, and I'm just like, no! It looks a lot like a horse brush. Creepy dude. A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room, if he had any. The guy does look like a Jeffrey. 
100% looks like a Jeffrey. Also, why is there a portrait of a dude in a parent's bedroom? That they didn't identify as the dad. This thing is so dusty. Also, Brick, it's I'm like wondering a, you're saying, um... It looks like the thing, um, to, uh, whatever. Like, I wonder if you're saying I, sir, because you're watching Fairy Tale and you're trying to be, like, uh, happy. Dark room. Can I not go in the armoire? No. Okay, just making sure. Aisa! Oh, dark room. Okay. Why are there drawings on the side? Photo developing stuff. A safe? We got 10, we got 107. There we go. It, it wasn't was the just for the statue. cliche. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. That's what you put in the safe? A book titled Developing for Dummies. I guess developers are dummies. This book is a good investment. Science bottle. Extremely breakable, especially when thrown or dropped against a hard surface. It's true, they do. Roll of film. An undeveloped roll of film. Not much else to say. Can do this? Just some canisters filled with some unidentified liquids. Seems like it's empty. You can pour something in it, like water or fire. It's where the water comes from, through the miracle of modern magic. It has measuring units on the side. Not that I would know anything about that. I'm 10 after all. Nailed it, she is 10. Uh, can we, do we need to turn the lights off? No. Photo developing Just stuff. a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Okay. It's some enlarger thingy. My dad explained it to me, but I might have fallen asleep while standing up. That's how boring that was. Use it. Nothing happened. There's something missing. Perhaps... Film? Nothing happened. There's something missing. Uh... Eh? I don't think so. Eh? Eh? I don't think so. Eh? Eh? Are you even trying? No. I'm not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Jeez. There. Okay. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. We can get it from that machine over there. You know how to use that thing? Not yet, but I was voted most likely to figure stuff out in my school once. Awesome. So... Do we use this on that? Oh wait, pincers. Used to pinch things. Okay, yeah, that's that's true. Big A bottle. Big ass bottles. Just a bunch of bottles. Two to be exact. Nothing interesting about them. That was great. Nothing happened. Latent image. There we go. Okay. So now I can put there. the thing in there? Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. Okay, so put this in here. I actually don't know how to do the regular developed film, but this seems like it's... Annoying. Ah! 
Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find mom and dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. We found a I piece of his robe bear. earlier and now this photo. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Um, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie and see if she can tell us something about the fabric. Yeah, you're right. About the fabric? We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's okay, developing photos. Okay, good. I was a little photos. confused. All right, so we wait. Can I pick up the duct tape that I now so, see? So, have you been lately? Good. Brother's missing, trying to find him. There might be a creep in the house. Wait, am I this dude now? I'm this dude? Are you kidding me? Can I go get the key? <laughs> Okay, I guess you don't want to go in there. Uh, can you go in Flint's room? Because that would mean you're Flint. Break the glass case. We need to break the glass case. Well, oh, that could be with the other keys, too. Okay, can you reach this? Okay. You can't go down. Can you? Are you going to go in Amber's room and be a creep? Oh, yeah, she's blind. Can we go in the closet? Attack Millie? Oh my god. Oh, escape. Escape. You're not attacking Millie. Red has left the building. Can we pick up the duct tape? I feel I'll like take this Ted was in the way me. last time. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. Yeah. Also, somebody screamed. And who took the picture that we just developed? Who was that? Millie, are you okay? We heard a scream. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It was him. I thought you the were red blind. Man. You just missed him. We found a photo. He's in my house, Millie. You just missed him. He must have heard you two coming, because he jumped out the window seconds before you came in. I can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. It's okay, Millie. We're here now. You're safe. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. What about Millie? Are we going to leave her alone? What if the red man shows up? She'll be fine. Millie's a tough broad. She'll probably whack the hell out of him until he's had enough and surrenders to local authority. Millie, are you going to be fine on your own? Don't worry about me, little miss. I'll go and find some place to hide. You two better be careful out there. Maybe brick. Is that nail? I want the nail. Let's see, I see, when I see any pixel that's different, I need to click I'll it. just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. Can we get, like, a stick? You propped it open with wood? I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting, it can be used to access things out of my reach. Like, can we make a... This won't work. It oh. usually takes two or more of these. Oh, so it will work. Do what with it? 
fine. Yeah, red men will remember that. I don't need... As long as it doesn't get extra, extra, extra creepy, we're going to be fine. It's pretty creepy, though. Was that another nail? Hold on. Okay, so... Stick. Come on. But... That's what you said it could... That's rude. Oh, we need to ask Millie about the cloth. That's right. I was like, can you be used to get things out of reach? Okay. It's out of reach. Help me. But that also means there's another duct tape somewhere. Um... Tell us about this cloth. Millie, we found this piece of red cloth in Flint's room. We thought you could tell us something more about it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't recognize this particular fabric. But by the feel of it, it feels like a firefighter's uniform. I'm sorry, but that's as much as I can tell. A that's, firefighter's uniform? That's good information. This is getting stranger by the minute. What do you make of this doll? I honestly don't know, Ted. I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find mom and dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up yeah. on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. Okay. Cool. Let's... Again, we're looking for any kind of mini particles. Let's, let's make sure we got everything that was off the floor. We got everything in there. We can't go in there. Can I give the batteries back to Rusty? I don't think so. Okay. Make sure he didn't like drop anything along the way. I can see the tree outside our house. It's a willow tree. I know this because it was Okay. Do we have to leave through the um the window? You use them to fascinating. A door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's locked. Can I smash it? Are you even... Yes. Smash it with the sword. It's level six. Are you even... Dang it. Do you think I missed something in the bathroom? I don't know. Or we just can't give the batteries back. Let's see. Bathroom sink? Used for... Oh, what about cap in the cabinet? It's full of uninteresting stuff. Uh, towels, creams, pills. Can't open it. Can't open the bathtub. Can't click the window. Whatever that is. That's just to give men something to see. Also, size comparison. Her head, that bolt. Her body, that bolt. It's a big toilet bolt. That's all I'm saying. Cleaning stuff, trash can. No. I think we just leave and we probably come back. Maybe. I... So I'm assuming that means we prop this open with the window again. Do what with it? Since I'm paying. Oh, then how do we leave? We should really go to Paper City. Where did you say the entrance was? Uh, Flint's room. Can we just go in there now? Wait, it's locked. But why? Yeah, shouldn't you have unlocked it when you went in there? Come on, Ted. Jeez. <sighs> See you later, Brick, dude. Thanks for hanging out.
wise man once said, the windows are the eyes of a house. I think he said something slightly different. A book titled Finding Missing Relatives for Dummies. That's oddly specific. I agree. Any leads on the missing kid yet? That's classified. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I faintly remember my old man. He was sitting on a bar stool, just drinking away. And after a while, the waiters would just chuck him out the back into a dumpster. How nice. Okay, I guess not here. Good job, Bear. Uh... But where is the, the entrance or exit or whatever? Wherever it is, I need to find it. Um, it's behind the plant. It's a only this. It's creepy. It's about the parents' room. Because we can't go downstairs. It's not showing us a, a stair thing. But that probably means... Face. Some weird plant is sticking out of it. So we're, I think we're looking for another thing of duct tape. A chandelier. It's French for a fancy lamp. I, I I don't know if you know what you're you're right. This lamp is pretty. It's like a a supermodel lamp. Canisters, trash? Going through trash is not on my to-do list. Maybe if my schedule opens up later in the day. It probably won't. Guess this room isn't so dark after all. <laughs> it's true. Okay, I don't see another... thing. Because my, it's not, I think we have to get into the attic, and we need to find another piece of duct tape. My parents, well, not really. At least that's what it said. Let's make this double check. Uh, this won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. Do what with it? Are you even? Do what with it? Okay, I think it means two of these, maybe. So we're looking for another wooden plastic wrap. It's plastic wrap for your clothes. For some reason. Makes sense. It's a deck. Okay. Looking for... It's either another uh, thing of duct tape or a, a stick. Possibly a stick. Can we take the, the broom we used? Or we cut down when we were in that other room? Like it was over here. I guess not. Pillow? I don't like pillow. The size of a la map. A la map. No. That's not right. It's a lamp. L-A-M-P. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can we do this? No. No. What about this? No. Okay. What about this? No. This? No. How about this? No. Okay, well at least you're you're being honest here. I appreciate that. Okay. We can't take the guitar, right? I've got a sudden urge to play it on stage and destroy it over the drum kit. Can I get the rope now? Just some rope. I bet someone would find this extremely useful. Not me, though. Of course not. 